Okay, for the record, can I uh, have your name and your, where are you from? Uh, my name is Danielle Hewitt, and I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, so you, I have a COVID story about uh, your family got it? Yeah, yes. So my uh, brother owns a small business in town, and he ha kept having to go to work, and unfortunately some people don't wear masks into his store, even though he, tr he tries to enforce it as much as possible. We came over here for Father's Day, and then probably a week later I was feeling sick, and I said, it's told all of my family, and they all said, it's allergies, don't worry. Even my brother's girlfriend, who's a nurse, told me that. And I was like, I don't know. And so I went and got tested. It came back negative. And so then I just kind of went back to my life. And then about a week later, I woke up with these terrible symptoms. And they, uh, including, I lost my smell, lost taste. I felt, I felt like I'd been hit by a truck. And I kept working. And I would, I would sleep for 30 minutes, wake up and work for an hour, sleep for 30 minutes just to get through it. Uh, and then everybody else in my family was diagnosed. And so we think that I just had a false negative. Or false, yeah, false negative. So we, my entire family's had it, and but luckily we all came through it. So also there was a loss of job. Yes, but not until. Uh, so I joke that 2020 wasn't that bad for me, other than getting COVID. I had a pretty good year. I started a new job that I really liked, and um, everything was going pretty well. I moved into a new apartment that I really enjoyed, and then um, 20, 2021 hit, and it kind of, everything kind of went downhill for me. Um, I worked in uh, film and music, and unfortunately, those areas are very affected by uh, by COVID. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, my job was no longer necessary, which is fine. And you know, it was it was a, a great, it was a happy party as much as it can be. And I wish them all the best. And Tulsa is a great music city, and we're doing they we were working on a lot of stuff to help recover that. And unfortunately, I was a byproduct. So. And uh, you and your friends, uh, you were telling me about your bubble. Yes. So I had, my bubble was one friend. Uh, we had to be very careful um, because her mother is immunosuppressant. So she, so if I was around anyone, I had to tell her because she couldn't be around anybody else because it could really affect her mother. But we believe that she may have had it in uh, February of 2020 when she she had gone to Spain for Christmas and had come back and was feeling terrible and she got tested for the flu and it wasn't the flu. And now that we think about the symptoms, we think she may have been one of the first people to bring it back to Oklahoma. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, and so has this year, I mean... Uh, uh, the, the, the year seemed to be going pretty well, even with COVID mm -hmm. and, uh, and your one friendship, um, you're still, uh, close. Mm -hmm. And, um, so as this ha what effect has it had on your mental um, health and well-being, your feelings of well-being in the last year. You know, it's funny for me. I think my personality is kind of built for this. I'm very much a, I only need one or two friends around me and I'm happy. And then if I'm around my family, I'm great. And I'm very lucky that um, my sibling and my parents and I all live within probably four miles of each other. Um, and so we are always around each other anyway. Um, and again, I have, I keep a very close knit circle of friends. So I have maybe one or two people I'm close with. And then, um, everybody else that I am still close with is from high school and from another state. So we've only ever talked on the phone for the past couple of years. So there wasn't much of a change. So again, I think I'm kind of built for this kind of hunkering down type of thing. But even for me, I've started to get a little stir crazy and I'm going outside more. And one of the funny things that I've noticed as the vaccines rolled out is when I walk my dogs around in my neighborhood, is everyone is just so much more friendly. People will go out of their way to wave at you on their, um, on their porches and to ask you how you're doing. Everyone, of course, stays away from each other. But I think the human contact, everybody's just so excited that we're kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So that's been nice. And uh, that was about the, uh, what I was going to ask next. Is yeah. it, have we seen the light at the end of the tunnel? What do you think is going to happen go forward? Um, I think so. As, you know, um, as long as everyone hopefully gets, the majority of people get vaccinated. I don't, I'm not going to get political on this, but um, I really hope everyone, if they And you chance, and your whole family have been vaccinated. Yes, my entire, we were very lucky um, that we've been vaccinated. And um, Oklahoma, I believe, as of right as of right now, was one of the um, the highest inoculating states uh, because our we don't have as many restrictions. So a lot more people are getting the shots. So we've been very lucky with that. The state's not fully opened yet. Um, thank God. 
um, I'm like Texas. Um, so we're just getting through it, but I am seeing light in the tunnel. I see a lot more people coming out. Um, it's just, I think we just need to keep wearing the masks and keep following regulations. And then I think by summer we'll be ready to go. Well, thank you very much. This is the 22nd. Thank you. Thank you.